even though the Nikon D3100 is almost nine years old at this point, if you use the right video settings, you can get some amazing looking footage out of it. And I'm gonna show you what those settings are right now. All right, so before I get into the settings I use on this camera to get the best quality video, I'm gonna show you a before and after clip of before I change the settings and then after I optimize the settings in this to get the best footage. So let me know if you see a difference in the comments below. It might be pretty easy to tell, but still just let me know if you saw the difference and what you think. So here we go, here's clip A. And then here's clip B. Now before I show you guys what settings I use, go down and like this video and also subscribe. It would really help out the algorithm and help my channel grow because I put a lot of time and effort into these videos. So go do that. So let's not waste any more time. I'm gonna get right into the settings that I use and then stick till the end if you wanna see some more uh, test footage with it. So let's get right into it. All right, so let's hop right into the menu here. And we're gonna go straight down to the second option down here. It's uh, the shooting menu. So. Go right into there, and this is pretty much where everything's gonna be at, where all the stuff we're gonna change is gonna be at to uh, get the best video settings out of this. So, if we had to write down picture quality, image or picture control, and image quality, those have to do with uh, basically just pictures. Uh, it's nothing that we're gonna be changing right now because I'm just gonna be focusing on video quality and uh, changing the settings for video. So, first things first, white balance. So, if you don't know what this is, it's basically, uh, the white balance controls how warm or cool your video is gonna look. So for example, you know, indoors with LED lights could be a little cooler than uh, maybe five o'clock when the sun's starting to go down, it seems, you know, a lot more orange. We're actually gonna leave that at auto because uh, for beginners, that's really what you wanna be at is just keep it in auto and you won't have to worry about changing anything. It'll just automatically adjust uh, depending on what lighting conditions you're in. So I'd keep it in auto. Uh, if you're getting started. Otherwise, you can play around with uh, changing it. It'll basically just, like I said, change how warm or cool your image looks. So right down here, ISO sensitivity settings. If we're going to here, uh, the ISO sensitivity, this basically, the higher it goes, the brighter your image is gonna be. So typically in like a lower light situation, you'd raise your ISO so that it, uh, you know, still looks uh, bright but also the higher this goes, the more grainy and the worse your image is gonna look, it's gonna be really noisy and grainy the higher you go. So you really wanna keep this as low as possible. Uh, try to keep it at 100 if you can and just add more light to your film or video or whatever you're recording. So I'm gonna keep that at 100 uh, just as a baseline, but just try to keep this as low as you can. But obviously if you have to push it up to, if it's too dark, then you know you gotta do that. But that basically controls how bright and dim it is. But the thing with video recording with the Nikon D3100 is that almost all the settings are automatic for it. So if we head out right here, once I press the record button on the video, uh, stuff like the shutter speed and aperture and all that's gonna be just automatic. And that's kind of sucks with this camera you can't really change any of that when you start recording your video. It's pretty much just all automatic. So a lot of the shutter speed and stuff isn't really gonna do anything anyways. But anyways, so if we head down here, uh, auto distortion control, just keep that off. Color space, sRGB. Noise reduction, I keep that off. It can kind of make things muddy and gross sometimes. And uh, you can always do noise reduction in an editing software or something. Uh, so here we go, auto focus area mode. Uh, we're gonna do live view movie, and I'm gonna keep that in wide area. So this basically will autofocus uh, throughout the whole area of the, the screen, basically. And this is the best for recording videos and stuff. There is face priority where if you're recording a person's face, you can set it as that, and it'll basically autofocus on someone's face. It'll always look for faces, and that's what it's gonna put in priority, like it says. Uh, but I just keep this a wide area. It's just kind of the most versatile autofocus area mode. Autofocus assist, keep that on. Metering, so this right here, I keep that at matrix as well. This basically controls how your camera is going to expose 
So which part of the screen is gonna look at when deciding if it should be brighter or darker. So matrix looks over the whole image and basically just finds a good middle ground. That's where I usually keep it at. There's also center weighted and that's basically gonna go right at the center of the screen and just keep the center, whatever's in the center, perfect exposure and everything around it just goes wherever. But so that's if you're recording just directly in the center of the screen. But again, I keep mine at matrix and spot, you can move around a spot basically throughout and it'll just look at wherever that spot is and expose that. But matrix is a good all around uh, normal one for keeping everything fairly exposed, right? All right, so right here, movie settings. This is the most important one. This is where we want to be. So right here, there's two options, quality and sound. First things first, sound just either on or off. It's basically, uh, this controls whether the video will have a sound file attached to it. I always keep it on because I can always mute the sound later if I need to. But it's always good just to have sound just in case you need it. Then right here, quality. So this looks confusing. There's a lot of numbers, a lot of different options. But the only one you're really going to need is this top one right here. 1920 by 1080 at 24 frames a second. This is the best quality, it's full 1080p. And 24 frames a second is the best frame rate for getting a cinematic look. And uh, really for most things, 24 FPS is perfect. So that's what you're gonna want the top one. Definitely not the bottom one. Uh, that's what I used in that first clip that I showed you when I did a little bit of an example. That sucks, 720p also, it's just not good nowadays. It's 2020, uh, 720p just isn't good enough. So 1080p, 24 frames a second. Select that one and that's really all you need right there. 1080p, 24 frames a second will look really good. And that's about everything for the shooting menu here. So that's really all you need to know for video settings for getting started out is everything I just showed you on the shooting menu here. It's pretty basic, pretty simple, and it's really good for getting started because because a lot of the stuff in here is automatic, like I said, uh, like the shutter speed and um, almost all the settings are once you start recording a video, it just kind of goes automatic. So the main things uh, are just in this one screen in here I just showed you and that'll get some good quality footage for you guys. So yeah, anyways, let's head uh, back out. That's the guide how to get good video with the Nikon D3100 in 2019. It's an old camera, but it still can get some good video. And if it's all you have, just get started with this. There's no need to upgrade to a you know, brand new camera. If you have this sitting around, just get started learning with this and it's gonna take some great videos. So anyways, that's it for this video. Make sure you hit the like button because that'll really help on my channel, help out the YouTube algorithm, and also subscribe, hit the bell button, and check out my other videos. I'm sure there's probably one right around here right now, but uh, yeah, go do that. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.